OK, guys, so let's go through the answers, <clears throat> such as they are. Um, how long has television been a part of family life? Well, as of writing this, uh, about 50 years. Obviously, this is a very old book, so a much, much longer. Um, it's been around for a very long time. One, in one form or another, television has been around for a very long time, and it isn't going anywhere. Um, make of that what you will. Uh, what are the findings of a recent university study on the effects of spending too much time watching television? I'm, I'm sure this is going to be shocking to a lot of people. They are negative. They make you dumber. They make you less socially interactive. Um, and they, what you've got to remember about television is that it's a passive medium, which means you switch your brain off. It's one-sided. You never shout back to the television and then have the television respond to you. You can scream all you like. You can throw your shoes at the television. It's going to make a blind bit of difference to the program because it's pre-recorded. Even if it's live, they don't care about you. So there's nothing you can do to affect it, so it's passive. When you're watching television, you're absorbing information and you have no choice but to accept it. Okay? It's a passive medium. That's why I'd actually rather see you playing video games because at least you're interacting. You're doing something. You're having an effect on the outcome, which is how life is supposed to be. You were never built to be passive. Humans aren't. Um, number three, under what circumstances can television images be confusing or harmful? Um, I think the most obvious one is with uh, children. Um, who, they can't discern reality from fantasy at that age, uh, under eight years old. They, they, they just can't. Um, so we have to be able to do that for them. Or, as I've said in Japan, where they, they literally they know because they, they're culturally taught that television is just television. It's not meant to be a reflection of real life. And there's no, there's no assumption or pretense that that's what it is. Um, but any, yeah, I think the, most, the way they're talking about it is when we see news and media about uh, violence, such as we see, uh, we see Iraq. We see the Americans going to Iraq, doing an invasion, uh, loads of explosions everywhere, soldiers running around with machine guns. We see that on the news and we accept that this is real. Then we see a war movie that says, oh, the Americans are the heroes. And it's very difficult to discern one from the other because they look so alike. They're meant to look alike. So it's damaging and confusing because we're deliberately pushing the propaganda model that this is what's really going on when it isn't. Very good film about this called Wag the Dog. Uh, where a, um, uh, an American um, uh, president is having problems. I think he's caught uh, having an affair or something you know, with another woman. So they, they, they go to war. They make a fake war um, so that they can cover up for it. They distract the population by having a war, make him into a hero instead. Um, what type of images can be uh, confusing or harmful to young children? Um, images that are pretending to be real, especially violence, uh, where we... Tom and Jerry were often accused of being too violent because it teaches children to be violent. Um, but there's never been any study into this and there's never been any proof that cartoons make you more violent. But um, other things do. Um, I think, more realistically, attitudes. attitudes. Um, and this is why we're seeing in America where there's reading circles now. There's reading circles where children at kindergarten are taken to a library to read, uh, to be read to by transgender people, not just transgender, not just people who wear dresses, but um, drag queens, you know, like people way over the top. So the children are getting the idea that this is somehow normal, where it blatantly isn't. Um, that's very confusing and harmful to children. Um, and we're ramming it down their throats and telling them this is normal. There was actually a priest, uh, or a, a, a minister, and this was on the news today uh, in America. He questioned uh, one element. Uh, I think he said, Men, men and women are different, they're not the same. Um, he was arrested on a, a school campus as a terrorist for saying that. This is how far it's gone. Uh, describe how television can cause young people to become overweight. Um, because it's a passive medium. It's a, it's a medium where people aren't encouraged to go out and do anything. Instead, they sit in front of the television and they get the emotional reward from, from watching instead of from doing. So it encourages them not to move. Um, and while they're sitting there, they're eating. And they're eating the wrong kind of foods. We tend to eat, when we're watching television, simple foods, which are usually high fructose or high fat foods. Snacks, in other words, like crisps, cakes, things like that, where they're cheap and they're simple. Nobody goes to the fridge and looks at their fruit and vegetables and thinks, this would be a great television snack, because it takes effort, and we're looking for simple. But those kind of people, you can't save them anyway. Um, how can families benefit from doing more activities together rather than watching TV? Um, 
they're learning to socialize. Um, we, we learn how to be ourselves by watching other people around us, uh, especially our parents. Uh, James is learning how to be a man from watching daddy. He's learning how to be a mum from watching uh, my wife. Uh, sorry, how to relate to women uh, from the person who's acting as his mum. That's how we learn. We learn from example. Children don't do what they're told. Children do what they're shown. And that's been proved over and over. So we would, uh, we would benefit from family activities where we learn how to behave in a family. Uh, and eventually, the family works as a model of society as a whole. That's why the family unit is breaking down. And that's why society looks a mess. Um, in what circumstances can watching television as a family be a, uh, a chance to build close relationships? Now this brings us to the next point, a good point. Um, television can be beneficial if it's used as a medium. Now most people don't use, for instance, the internet in a good way. I use Facebook very differently to the way you use Facebook. I don't comment much on Facebook, I use it to sell books. So I'm literally on there with my 4,000 friends. Um, and I relate to them through the occasional post just to remind them I'm there and by setting up um, book launches and book offers. So I use it as a way to, to market. Um, I also use it to stay in touch with my family at home, but most people don't do that. Most people waste their time on it. Um, the television is the same. It's a resource. You can use it however you want. It can be used to waste your time in front of all. You can plan for a specific show that you want to watch with your children. Um, yeah, watch a documentary. Um, watch the whole series, watch a BBC documentary like um, Planet Earth. Um, some of you may have watched an episode or two with me. We watched them in grade four. Planet Earth, um, last year in grade ten. I, no, I don't think, no, we didn't do it last year because we were locked down. The year before, we watched um, Antarctica, the Planet Earth episode. It's really, really good. So watching that can build social bonds because we're doing something together. I try and do that here. I don't have a television, but I do have a projector. So we'll watch movies together uh, as a family. We'll put on um, a movie, we'll have dinner, and for an hour and a half we spend family time together, just chilling out and enjoying a film. Um, we, I try and get each person to choose one differently. James likes superheroes and Transformers and that sort of stuff. I like smart movies. The wife likes romantic comedies, so she loses because I can't think of any good ones. So we try and spend some family time together. Um, give examples of disturbing and inappropriate material for children, or anything violent or aggressive or progressive, anything with the woke agenda would probably be inappropriate at the moment. Disturbing. Uh, disturbing would normally be uh, horror movies, something like that, uh, where the images are just too adult, maybe sexual or uh, aggressively violent, something like that. Um, not reinforcing negative stereotypes. I don't believe in that. <coughs> um, number nine. Uh, what is a possible outcome of children of learning of not learning how to have conversations? Well, um, social anxiety, uh, social isolation, lack of friends later on, being bullied in school, um, no social skills so they can't develop a job, a career, a future. Um, I'm sure some of you, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking now, oh wow, that's me. And it is. Uh, it's becoming really, really common. And I do sympathize if you uh, identify with any of those uh, attributes. Um, People do need to have uh, a social connection to other people, which is why these lockdowns um, are so damaging. Um, what type of programs do you think provide facts? <laughs> Personally, none of them. Um, what type of programs support learning about cultural heritage? Well, <laughs> news programs, um, local programming, uh, things like that. But uh, again, it's been, it's been so changed. Um, foreign cultures, uh, alien cultures, are now sort of shown as ideals and non-ideals. It's, it's all very, very corrupted now. Um, how can we ensure the television is beneficial to us? Planning, careful planning to make sure that you get what you want from it. So in other words, before you turn on the television, make sure that you're turning it on to watch something that you want to see. Don't just, don't be a surfer. Don't just turn on, surf through it, and find something worth watching. Go in there looking for something, and you'll find something worth watching. Uh, explain the meaning of these words. Nil means zero. Obesity is when you're obesity is when you're so fat that it's become a medical problem. And then we go on from obesity to morbid obesity, where basically you're so fat you're going to die from being fat. Uh, trebled times by three. Bonds are connections. Uh, neglected means um, not given enough time. Uh, comprehensive means very thorough. 
in the making means it's happening right now. Disconcerting means troubling or worrying. Monitored means to watch. And gains means benefits. Um, now, reading for ideas. So these are more personal, so there's no right or wrong answers here. Uh, what is the most important purpose of television as far as you're concerned? Give a reason for your answer. I think the reason that television exists is propaganda and programming. I don't think it's there for your benefit. I don't think television ever was. Um, the important purpose of television, from my perspective, uh, documentary programs were very interesting. Um, <clears throat> some of them are very good. One of the best ones I ever saw was about a hole. It was literally a hole in the ground. These people dug a quarry and it was a huge hole left over. And the film was made over the course of a year where nature claimed the hole back. This is as simple as that. Um, rain started to fall. Um, the hole became a lake. Plants started growing all around it. Birds started coming in with seeds on their beaks. And they started planting um, crops. And before you knew it, nature took back hold. And this, this thing in a year became um, alive again. And it was a brilliant documentary, a, a very simple thing. Um, so things like that are worth seeing. Um, much beyond that, news is so hard to trust these days. I, I, I don't think it's worth having. Uh, do you think television does more harm than good? I think, um, I think absolutely, and we only have to look around us to see that at the moment. Um, I mean, we've got a pandemic. Supposedly, we've got a pandemic at the moment, and the Americans have put billions of dollars aside to publicize the pandemic. I mean, if there's a pandemic going on, you should be able to look out the window and see the results of it. We shouldn't need to be advertised at to remind us that there's a pandemic. Um, that's very weird. Um, so yeah, I think television does more harm than good. Um, do the arguments provided for television apply to computers? Now this was written a long time ago, and I think absolutely these days they do. I think computers and the internet um, have gone to the next level. I think this has become a serious problem. Um, Summarise this discussion by listing the three main ideas presented. Um, I think the three main ideas here is that television is generally bad for us. Um, too much television is even worse for us. I think you've got to plan carefully, and I think you've got to uh, respect the family unit. I think uh, a lot of work has been done, especially in America, with the woke agenda to undermine the family unit. And I think the family unit... Uh, a mother, a father, the children, the support of the grandparents and the wider network of aunts and uncles is the most important set of connections you will ever have to the world. I think they're the most important people in your life forever. They're the people that will always love you and accept you and you will screw up in life. I know I do all the time. They're the people that will always be there for you and they are like you. No matter whether you think uh, you don't get on with your mum or your dad, you're just like them. And you won't find that out till it's too late in some cases. So those family bonds are there for life and they're incredibly important. And the family exists as a model of society. And if we've got broken families, you can guarantee we've got a broken society. So I think they're the three things that we need to take away from this, that we need to strengthen our bonds with our immediate friends and family. I think we need to watch less television and take it all less seriously. We need to get out there and remember we're humans and humans are a brain inside a body. We have the whole spectrum of things. We, we move, we interact with others. We need to get out and about. You know I'm right because we're all in a lockdown situation where we're all really, really feeling this. Television is a net negative. In my opinion, yours might be different, but that's what I think. All right, guys, thanks for listening to me for another long time. Um, enjoy the rest of your day.